said he assumed the role of the family's breadwinner while still in school and became the head of the family when his father abandoned them. And that's not all. With a sickly sister, Bavaton Mukalo was forced to seek multiple casual jobs to meet her medical expenses. He is our survivor this week. Bevaton Mukalo wakes up every morning with hope for a better day. Hope that the light at the end of the tunnel is not delusional. Grabbing his clothes from the few he has, dressing up and not even thinking of having breakfast because there is none. He sets out to look for work, not knowing where he's going or where he will end up, leaving behind his single mother and siblings. The only work he is able to get is that of a casual worker at construction sites. Even this is hard to come by. Sometimes he gets, other times he wonders what he will take back home. This has been the life for the young man. Growing up like any other child, Beverton's wish was to have a stable family, committed parents, good schools and a social life. But as it is, things took a different turn. My father was a drunkard and he was not providing for the family and it was my mother who would provide for us because he had a small business where he was selling uh, vegetables and, and, and cereals. His mother's business, even though it made a small income, was what they all depended on, but it later failed. Sometimes we had to go to bed hungry. There was no money to cater for our needs. Even in school, when I was leaving home, I will go to school hungry with my brother. All this time, his father kept promising that he would become a better man, but fell back to his old habits. We just come home a very drunk. Uh, comes slowly to the house staggering and he'll just vomit in the house and uh, my mom was not happy and as things were getting worse he ran away abandoning his whole family but Beverton managed to track him down and would visit him occasionally he used to be seen around at the Korogocho slums where he would do some more small business and sometimes when I would go there to see him, I will find that he's on the street, very, very drunken. But after the 2000, after 2007, I've been going there, but uh, it's, it's, there's no trace of him. Nobody knows. Beverton continued with his education at Roy Sambo Primary School, where he would score 395 out of the possible 500, despite all the challenges. With no money to proceed to high school, his primary school teacher, Mrs. Nyaga, was concerned, so she approached Cardinal Maurice Otunga Missionary School. Seeing the marks that I had got, they agreed to partially sponsor me so that I could uh, continue with my studies. Uh, sometimes I had to be sent back home because uh, the, the fee there was 12000 and the school agreed to sponsor me with 8000 so the 4000 I was supposed to pay. This did not stop him from working hard. He got a B- minus when he finished his four years but opted to go back a second time so that he could do better and get into the regular program. I managed to get a B plus and I got an admission letter to Moy University. Beverton got into campus by paying for his fees through help loans from the government and contributions from well wishers. However, things went from worse to worst as his younger sister was diagnosed with sickle cell disease, a situation that set back the family. <laughs>
With a need for regular medication for Beverton's sister, the loan became the main source of funding for his sister's illness, forcing Beverton to consider moving from the main campus to reduce costs. But even as he plans to move to Nairobi campus, his other concern is sharing the same room with his mother and younger sisters. Sharing the same room with uh, my sisters and my mom, I don't think it's, 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 it's right, but we, we don't have an alternative. That's the only way to survive. Despite all Beverton has gone through, he has hope that he will become the future's Chinua Achebe. My hopes and dreams in life to become a, a, a great writer. I've always had a passion in, in, in writing. And that's why I chose a course in uh, media and communications. I have a passion for that and I'd like to be the next Chinua Chebe. As days go by, Beverton's hope is that someone somewhere will come to his aid and help him finish with his education so that he can be able to get a job to enable him provide for his family and especially for his sick sister. Ian Wafula for the Survivor Series.